Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Fries. I hope you had an awesome day. Now, this is the BenQ EX2780Q, which is a gaming monitor. Let me tell you more about this monitor and why I like it so much. The BenQ EX2780Q retails at RM1899. This 27-inch gaming monitor has 1440p resolution and 144Hz refresh rate. Connectivity-wise, it has one display port 2 HDMI, and 1 USB Type-C. This means that this monitor is great for competitive gaming. Here's my footage in Apex Legends and you see that with an RTX 3070 card, it does 144 FPS easily to match a monitor. The BenQ EX2780Q comes with AMD FreeSync technology in case you face screen tearing. As you can see, the monitor works great. I had plenty of great moments and even down to winning matches. In case you're wondering, the BenQ EX2780Q comes with an IPS panel with DCI-P3 at 95%. And from what I've tested, the color output out of the box can be pretty accurate and if you are into accuracy, do a little bit of calibration and definitely you are going to get great colors out of this monitor. The BenQ EX2780Q is also capable of HDR. Here's the difference in colors when I switch between the HDR modes. As if having good panel isn't enough, it comes with great sounding audio by Trevolo. The speakers are at the front and at the rear. And from what I tested in my games, I totally like it. Of course, if you are playing, let's say, Apex Legends, this kind of FPS type or maybe Valorant, then it's a bit difficult to um, go around with positioning. However, even with the speaker setup, I can faintly hear the left and right basically the directions of where the sound is coming from. However, if you are playing like maybe a MOBA or you are playing single player games like The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Genshin Impact and all that, the audio will sound really awesome. What I like about the audio is that it comes with multiple profiles. For gaming, I go with a gaming profile with a punchier bass and then if I were to listen to music, I will go with a live profile where the bass is toned down it has better mid-tones, overall greater tonality, which is, I think, really awesome for a speaker that is on a monitor. Now, if you're interested, this is what it sounds like when I'm playing a game using this monitor. The menu on the BenQ EX2780 is easy to navigate around and the experience is elevated with the well-built control buttons on the rear of the panel. There's even a volume control dial at the other corner of the screen. 
The BenQ EX2780 comes with a remote control as well, so you need not leave your seat just to make adjustments. Now, the BenQ EX2780 comes with brightness intelligence of which the sensor is here. Now, here's a recording of which I did to show you how it changes the brightness. Now, this is the recording from my camera to show you how the brightness changes. This is the current brightness level based on the camera's setting of which is set to aperture value and metering set to spot. Once I shine the light into the sensor, you'll notice that the shutter speed becomes faster. This is how the camera works. So when it is brighter, the shutter will be faster. Of course, you don't see it change in this recording simply because the camera has already adjusted the output to match the exposure. Lastly, we have the USB Type-C connectivity where it is able to not only display but also charge your device at the same time. If I need to pick on the floor on the BenQ EX2780Q, it will be that it is only able to tilt the screen upwards and downwards. No pivot, yaw or change of elevation. Alright, so we've come to the end of this review. The BenQ EX2780Q is just... <sighs> I'm giving it a gold badge. That's, it's really an awesome stuff. It's just that um, at the price point, it's just too bad that you are unable to change the elevation and other adjustments to say, let's say fit your height and all that. But overall, it's really awesome stuff from BenQ. That's all for now. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and bye bye.